Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has replaced three top officials at Turkey's central bank, continuing an overhaul of economic policy that began with the appointment of a new finance minister, Mehmet Shibshek, and a new bank governor, Hafize Gaye Erkan, at the beginning of June. The three new deputy bank governors are Osman Cevdet Akçay, Fatih Karahan and Hatice Karahan. Each brings long experience in banking, business and economics. After pursuing a long interest rate policy during the pandemic to stimulate economic growth, Ankara is now changing course. The central bank also revised its predictions for inflation for 2023 from 33% to 58%. It has since raised interest rates to 17.5%. And now let's go to other top business stories from around the world. The Bank of Japan has surprised markets by loosening its grip on bond yields, taking another step away from years of ultra-loose monetary policy. The BOJ said its 0.5% limit on 10-year government bond yields was now a reference and offered to buy such bonds at 1% in the market instead. The bank has also revised up this year's inflation forecast to 2.5% from 1.8% projected in April. Shares of China's Evergrande in new energy vehicle group has dropped by almost 70%. The stock was suspended for nearly 16 months, resuming training on Friday. The company has been under pressure since its parent China Evergrande group entered a debt crisis in 2021. The electric vehicle company plans to raise $500 million through equity to finance production and sales of its vehicles. And Air France KLM announces that it has doubled its year-on-year -year net profit in the second quarter to $662 million, despite rising inflation, which has increased costs. Air France KLM lost 11 billion euros during the pandemic, requiring the governments of France and the Netherlands to intervene. But the company's debt has fallen by 1.5 billion euros since the end of December.